There lived a young Native American girl. She lived with her family on the North American continent. Her name was Matawaka. And she was a member of the Pamunkey tribe. She was the daughter of the tribe's chief. And she was his favorite daughter. She was a happy, spirited girl, which is why everyone called her Pocahontas, which means playful. One day, when she was playing with her sister, Marachana, and other friends on the beach, she spotted something strange on the horizon. Look, Marachana! There's something strange out there in the ocean. Hmm, it looks like some sort of boat to me. Yes, but it's much bigger than our canoes. I wonder what kind of tribe would have such big boats. They are about to land on shore, so I guess we'll find out. There are so many of them. There must be about a hundred. And look, their clothes are so strange. I've never seen a tribe wearing clothing like that. They look very scary, Pocahontas. Look at those weapons they have. We should tell father about them. What if they want to hurt us? No, sister. I don't think they have come here to hurt us. They probably do not even know that we are here. That night, when they returned home, Pocahontas begged her sister not to tell her father about the people who had arrived on the shore. However, Madachana could not contain herself and told Powhatan everything she had seen. Father, I saw their weapons flashing in the sun. They were not made of wood like ours, but out of something very shiny. Hmm. They sound very dangerous to me, daughter. Don't go anywhere near them. Pocahontas? Yes, father? Promise me that you and your sister won't go near these strange people. But father, I want to meet them. I don't think they want to hurt us. Just because they are different, it doesn't mean they are evil. <sighs> you are very young, Pocahontas, and you do not understand how dangerous some men can be. I forbid you to go anywhere near them. For many days, Pocahontas and several members of her tribe spied on the mysterious people who had landed on the beach. The strangers set up camp a few miles from where Pocahontas lived. But one day, one man named John Smith came too close to Pocahontas' camp. And some of the Pamunkey warriors captured him. What are you doing with that man? He has stolen some food from our camp. He will pay for what he has done. No, father, don't 
hurt him, please! Please! His tribe must be very hungry! The weather is getting colder! And they have hardly any food! Can't we help them? Because Pocahontas was his favorite daughter, Powhatan spared John Smith's life. Then, he and some warriors took him back to where his own people had set up camp. Pocahontas followed behind them. Pocahontas, come back! You can't go with them! I must go, Matachana. I must make sure that Father doesn't hurt that man and his people. Pocahontas hid and watched as her father and the warriors spoke with the people of the strange tribe. They soon discovered that they were not from America. In fact, they were from a faraway country called England, all the way across the ocean. And they did not know how to grow corn or any of the crops that Pocahontas and her people planted and ate every year. They had very little food and were desperate for help. Thank you for helping us, Powhatan. Please tell your daughter that I thank her for saving my life. Why don't you tell me yourself? Daughter, go back home at once. Please, let her stay. I only want to give her this gift to show her how thankful I am. My name is John Smith. Thank you, John Smith. My name is Pocahontas. You're welcome. It's a small token of my gratitude. I hope that your people and mine can be friends. I hope so too. <laughs> As time passed, Pocahontas and her people helped the Englishmen grow food and survive in America. Now that Pocahontas had grown up and was no longer a little girl, her father allowed her to visit the Englishmen and help them. However, Although Pocahontas' tribe tried to be friendly with the Englishmen, there always seemed to be disagreements between them. Sometimes the Englishmen came too close to Pocahontas' camp, and so Powhatan sent his warriors to capture them. After a time, one Englishman named Samuel Argyle hatched a plan to get those men back. The chief's daughter will come here to Jamestown today to bring us food. When she does, we will capture her. We'll hold her hostage until Powhatan allows our men to go free. <laughs> That day, when Pocahontas came to Jamestown, Samuel Argyll and his men captured her and held her hostage. Powhatan was furious, but he still would not let the English prisoners go. Pocahontas had to stay in Jamestown for one very long year. During that time, she learned to read and write the English language. She also met John Rolfe, a wealthy tobacco planter. John Rolfe spent time with Pocahontas and eventually fell in love with her. Pocahontas, I have a question 
to ask you. Yes, John? I know that I am not like your tribe, but I enjoy spending time with you. I want to be with you always. Would you marry me? If you do, you will no longer be prisoner. We will show everyone that Englishmen and Native Americans can put aside their differences. Yes, John, I will marry you. Pocahontas and John Rolfe were wed, and Pocahontas became a Christian. She was given a new name, Rebecca, and sailed with John all the way across the ocean to England. They hoped that everyone would see and understand that people who are very different from each other can get along and live in harmony.